Hey guys, welcome to another video for the POCO X3 Pro and this is episode 3 of Truth Behind MIUI updates for the POCO X3 Pro. Now remember this is a recently launched device in the last 6 months and it has not really had a lot of MIUI updates so we still have a long way to go. Unlike the POCO Phone F1 for which we have concluded the series and for the K20 Pro in which we are almost coming towards the end and the Mi 11X for which we have just started with one episode. But this is really significant because on this device you have something which you don't have on the k20 pro and the mi 11x a lot of people are still feeling and claiming that the gaming performance on the poco x3 pro is really really decent on miui roms and that is the reason it becomes even more important for us to find an answer to two questions the first one being is xiaomi really slowing your phone down with each and every update and secondly out of all the miui updates that you've received if you have an unlocked bootloader which means you have the option of switching to any MIUI version which one should you switch to and which is the best version now in this particular series we do go ahead and test each and every update in a lot of aspects battery life charging benchmark numbers gaming and all those things are tested of each and every update and then I share my opinion along with the benchmark scores to give you the right verdict but before we get into the details if you haven't already please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video in the description of each video you will find a link to our telegram community where you have more than a thousand like-minded people chatting with each other so join us there last but not the least if you think the hard work is worth the effort please click on the join button and support the channel now without further ado hello awesome people welcome to phone ops my name is Kailash let's get going All right, so what do we have in store today? We have MIUI 12.5.3. I remember I was traveling at that time and I received this update. It was the first MIUI 12.5 update and of course this is based on Android 11. It came with the June security patch and a lot of things. So first let's go ahead and check what's new and then we will talk about the other things. Now as this is the first MIUI 12.5 update, it does say that there are a lot of, you know, 12.5 fixes, 20 times rendering power, this, that, and to be very honest, in the end, 12.5 proved to be a dud. That is the reason they had to come with the enhanced edition. Now, it is yet to be known if the Poco X3 Pro and the Redmi K20 Pro will even get the enhanced edition or not. But I can tell you, so far, the rollout of enhanced editions has been really, really great with the Mi 11X. They've done huge improvements in terms of UI and performance. And I think they will give this update to these two devices as well. Now, you do see that in MIUI 12.5, they do have a bunch of things that they have fixed, right? And the UI, the responsiveness is much better compared to the earlier versions. Now, what I can say over here is if you actually go to display and switch this to 120 hertz. Now, remember this is poco and you are talking about a poco phone a poco device so if you actually go to the google feed or their own app vault you will see that things are stuttery the ui performance is not up to the mark that is the reason they have come with a 12.5.4 update and i have to tell you that the performance at least in gaming dropped considerably when it comes to this particular update now the benchmark numbers have a different story to say but i will tell you this 12.0.4 is still the king so you know let's quickly go ahead and have a look at the benchmark numbers so we have antutu we have geekbench single core geekbench multi core we have throttling average score and then we have the throttling percentage so when this particular phone launched it came with miui 12.0.4 which was based on android 11 and i still feel that is the best edition so far and uh, it gives you great performance at least in gaming so the n 2 score on 12.0.4 was 563,286. Now, when we moved to 12.0.5, the score went to 567.274. So the score did increase there. But remember, this is n 2 we are talking about, right? And in 12.5.3, we came back to 562.098. Now, in a way, you can say that we dropped the performance, at least as far as n 2 is concerned. But remember, that is where we started at in 12.0.4, right? Now, let's talk about the real deal, the benchmarks which I sort of trust and I believe they are good. So, we are talking about Geekbench single core and Geekbench multi core. So, in Geekbench, in the first ever software version, MIUI 12.0.4, you had 736, 12.0.5, 750, 
but in 12.5.3 780 that is a difference of around 50 points which is around five to six percent so sort of there but not there multi-core 2672 in 12.0.4 2710 and again 2685 so no changes there now let's talk about the important part cpu throttling because whenever you are gaming your throttling is what matters because if you're going to throttle you're going to lag if you're going to lag and you're only going to throttle when the device is going to heat up right and remember we've done a ton of tests with 90 fps and whatnot and there's a lot of fun coming for the poco x3 pro so subscribe if you have not yet Nonetheless, throttling average score of 12.0.4 was 184,628, right? 12.0.5, 166,992 and 178,877. Now the important part is the throttling percentage. In the first update, 12.0.4, 67. In 12.0.5, 82. And in 12.5.3, 73. So we have a mixed winner between 12.0.4 and 12.0.5. Both of these updates are something you should stick to as of now. If you have an unlocked device and you don't really have a choice apart from using MIUI as your daily driver, stick to either MIUI 12.0.4 or 12.0.5. They will give you better performance than what 12.5.3 or you know 12.5.4 is giving. We are yet to test the next update. Maybe in a week's time I will release another episode. But all in all, what I can say is Poco X3 Pro deserves much better software. It has not been proven yet that Xiaomi is trying to slow it down, but the updates for this device are pretty bug ridden and yeah, it doesn't really, really make me feel good or super confident that, you know, if I get updates, this device will perform better. And mind you, this hardware has the performance it has the capability it might not have the best camera and the best display but if you're someone who wants a big phone with a big display big battery and decent gaming performance right now in big billion days it's it's selling for i don't know 15000 rupees yeah with all the offers and that's a steal at that price so all in all poco x3 pro for me is a wonderful device it has a ton of custom roms but if you want to stick to miui my bet is on 12.0.4 or 12.0.5 wait for the coming episodes we at least have one or two more episodes and as in when these devices keep getting updates new episodes of truth behind miui updates will keep coming let me know in the comment section was this helpful or not until the next one this is kailash signing off at phone ops keep smiling take care goodbye